WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange released on bail in London just a few hours ago. Assange wanted by prosecutors to answer their questions about an alleged sexual assault in Sweden. Here's what he had to say. Well, it's great to smell fresh air of London again. First, some thank yous to all the people around the world who have had faith in me, who have supported my team while I have been away. He has lots of support and lots of critics, but did he commit a crime? With me now, senior editor of Reason Magazine, Catherine Mangu Ward, and nationally syndicated radio talk host and Fox News contributor, Leslie Marshall. Leslie, to you first. Uh, do you think that there is a basis to charge him in American law for his dissemination of documents that he received, bearing in mind the Pentagon Papers case, bearing in mind the manner in which the Supreme Court has treated the First Amendment, bearing in mind the special protection the First Amendment gives for journalists in our society today? Well, Judge, you certainly know uh, the Constitution and the law better than I, but I have to tell you this. I don't, when I read, and I reread it this morning, knowing we talk about it today, right, right. Uh, the First Amendment does not say that we have freedom of the press unless we share with the world information that could bode negatively on the American people, our soldiers, diplomats, even put us in danger, etc. He is as a journalist, even though he calls himself an anarchist. He, he is a journalist, and the First Amendment does cover him. So with the First Amendment, no, I don't think any charges should be brought against him, even though I feel his actions were irresponsible and reprehensible. Catherine, does it appear as though the, the, the charges from Sweden are a pretext or were a pretext to keep him in jail for a period of time in the hopes that American prosecutors could have filed some charge so that as soon as he got out of the British jail, he'd be locked up again with the Americans wanting him. Now, that didn't happen. The reason it didn't happen, in my view, is because Leslie uh, has just explained the law to us. But do you see the hand of the American State Department behind all this stuff that's going on in London? Because the Swedish charges were dismissed by another prosecutor back in August when they were first filed. If the State Department's behind it, I guess we'll have to hope that Assange can find a cache of cables about it to release a little bit later on. But honestly, I mean, if, if Assange is by soliciting and releasing information right. that the U.S. government would rather keep secret, if he's a criminal, then so are we on Fox News right now. So is Reason Magazine. What he's doing is what a good investigative reporter on a national security beat should be doing. He's All right. cultivating sources. He's making it easy to share. Leslie, many of the things that we learned have not been denied. I mean, they're, they're, no one has claimed that these are phony documents that he made this up. So, for example, things like Secretary of State Hillary Clinton instructed special agents in the State Department to steal the credit card numbers of foreign diplomats so she could know what restaurants they were going to. I mean, if that is true, that is a crime for which both Mrs. Clinton and those who stole the credit card numbers could be prosecuted, not by this administration, but by another administration. Shouldn't we know if the government is committing a crime, albeit a petty one, in our names and with our authority? Well, Judge, I think you know that for years we were committing many crimes. They were called torture. Yes. And uh, credit card numbers, although illegal, yes, petty. Do we want transparency and at what cost? The American people say they want transparency. Here's transparency. What bothers me, Judge, is why are we just talking about Assange? What about somebody who violated a military code of justice and perhaps threw his comrades under the bus, literally, who are fighting overseas with providing Assange with this information? All right. Right, Catherine, uh, uh, Leslie raises a very good issue, and it's another issue about government trust. The government claims that over a million pages of documents were stolen by one Buck Private. Now, I have difficulty believing that the Buck Private had a security clearance, had the ability to get these things, got all of them, and distributed them on, its own, on his own. But the government, which has kept him locked up for 23 hours a day for the past six months, claims that he and he alone did this. Do you believe that? I think that the more that government clamps down on information, the more information is denied to the public, the more Assange's and the more Bradley Manning's there are going to be. Bradley Manning may or may not have released these documents. I have no way to know. You're certainly right, Judge, that he is getting very, very harsh treatment right now. He's getting the kind of treatment that we mostly reserve for convicted murderers with right. discipline problems in jail. Right. But 
um, you know, this is also it's just hoisted on their own petards. I mean, FOIA requests were filed for a lot of the information that Assange wound up disclosing and, and were denied. And if those, those requests have been granted, I'm not sure that, uh, that Assange would be the hero, anti-hero that he is today for so many in the transparency world. Right, Leslie, the three of us are, are journalists. We are opinion people. We don't just state the news down the middle. We say what, what we think about it. Uh, in the long run, isn't it a good thing when we know what the government has done, even if it has lied, even if it has cheated, even if it has stolen, even if it has killed in our name? As mature adults in a functioning Western democracy, isn't it better that we know these things than that we don't know them? Not all of it. And I would say, because honestly, as an American, as somebody who practices what I do professionally under right. the First Amendment, and a woman in this world, in this country, who can do that, I don't want to know the secret dealings of leaders in our country with others, especially if it's going to infringe upon the safety of our soldiers or of perhaps capturing somebody like Osama bin Laden. So I would say there's a line in the sand, and I don't want that crossed. Okay, but the other side of that line says that he can legitimately and lawfully release this because Absolutely. the First Amendment Absolutely. of the Supreme Court has said so. Guys, thanks very much for joining us.